Sometimes it gets tough battling the forces of Erie by myself, even with a little help from Simon. But I always thought I could count on Mom and Dad for a dose of normality. But then Dad joined the Loyal Order of Corn, Erie's version of the Moose Lodge, and started spending all his free time there, which drove Mom crazy. I'd never even noticed the place. Kind of makes me wonder what else I haven't noticed. Will the order please come to order? Thank you. I give you the colonel. Thank you. Thank you, seedlings. Knee highs. Third degree ears of the loyal order of corn. As usual, we'll begin with our song, Hail to Thee, O Ears of Splendor. Hail to thee, O Ears of Splendor. Joyously we pledge our job. We declare our staunch allegiance to protect your kingly cup with fidelity and devotion. Uh, excuse me, Ed, sir. Is there a, anything specific I should be doing? Simply watch and learn. I can't believe I'm actually here at the Loyal Order of Corn. Simon, you've lived in Erie all your life. What's the big deal anyway? It's just a weirdo lodge. People say they run things. People say you better do as they say. Have people noticed that they're a bunch of goons in stupid hats? Come on. The shrouds a hardy, sturdy stock. The loyal order of corn. You know what that means, Brother Huskers. Time to enter the inner sanctum. Seedling Teller, are you prepared? I submit. Come forward. Imagine what kind of vicious security thugs the Loyal Order of Corn used. Well, well, well. If it isn't Thelma and Louise. <laughs> what are you doing here? I work here. Since when? Since this afternoon. Boy, only six hours on the job, and I've already nabbed myself a couple of intruders. <laughs> Boy, is Ned going to be happy. You're not going to turn us in. Oh, why wouldn't I? If I give you ten bucks, would you forget you saw us? Forget who? <laughs> All right, now get out of here. This is very private stuff, very hush-hush. I can't. My old man's in there. So? Marshall's worried about Simon. Oh. Oh, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> All right. Come on, give me your best shot, tell her. What? If I give you another five bucks, would you let us in? I didn't quite hear you. All right. Ten bucks. Said the magic words. You know, you guys should get a job like this. I'm making a fortune. <laughs> All right, wait here. There's a camera at the front door. I'll go open the window. Have you noticed ever since we met this guy, we're always broke? We're in trouble. Hurry up. Wow. A loyal order of corn. This is so neat. 
Hey, check that out. Simon, do you see anything funny about these pictures? Yeah. Everybody's wearing the same hat. No, no, no. Look closer. Who's in every picture? The bartender guy. Ned. He's been the same since at least 1915. Exactly how old is he? Oh, gee. How should I know? You know something. Maybe I do. Such a failure. Nonsense, my boy. Patience is one of the supreme attributes. You do know the supreme attributes, don't you see, Dingteller? Uh, uh, patience, uh, fortitude, uh, persistence, loyalty, silence, strength. Well, I'm leaving one out, I know. Loyalty. I thought I said loyalty. Oh, loyalty is a double supreme attribute, see, Dingteller? Of course. Loyalty is the cornerstone of the order of corn. Loyalty to fellows. Loyalty to ideas. Loyalty to our very important work, no matter how long it takes. How long has it taken, Ned? A very long time. See? But something tells me we're coming very close to the finish of, 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 of well, you, you re know. You really think so? The alignment holds for six more hours. I think you should try to complete your work tonight. Yes. Well, in that case, ceiling teller. Let's drop in on the old teller workshop and pick up that one missing piece. Are they gone? No. Shh, shh. Is there something wrong here? Huh? Oh. No. No, no, fine. Remember what I said about following the rules. It's very important, especially in the early going. Where's that picture? Picture? Oh, you mean this picture? <laughs> I was just cleaning it for you. Well, you're enthusiastic. Mm. Very good. The members will like that. Mm -hmm. Ned, is it time for the recitation? Yes. I must attend to the closing ceremonies. But once the members have gone, you and I will have a talk. You may be getting a promotion sooner than you think. What's all that stuff about getting a promotion? I thought you just started here. Well, maybe Ned sees my obvious potential. You're holding out on us. Oh, come on. What are we, the hole-in-the-wall gang? I don't have to tell you anything. Fine. But just remember, we're the only other people who believe Eerie is weird. All right. Come on. Our friend Ned doesn't know I can do this. The sacred mysteries of the loyal order of corn. I can't look. Simon, you can open your eyes now. Get a load of this. Looks like one of those hokey New Age crystal things. My sister has one almost that big. She thinks it'll get her a boyfriend. That door's got markings on it. Just like the ones on your hands. What does it mean? It means that our friend Ned might know more about me than he's saying. Maybe he knows where you came from or where your family is. Maybe Ned knows what your name is. That's a lot of maybes. But until then, I'm going to use these for a name. Plus and minus? No. 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 Dash X. Get it? Dash X. Plus, what kind of name is that? You guys are a constant source of embarrassment. So, Dash X, what has Ned told you about the Loyal Order of Corn? He didn't tell me anything. I just knew that this stuff was in here like I'd seen it before or something. I... Something is very weird. Yeah, we knew that. And we know where. But how do we get in there? Come on, let's take a look. Hey, check this out. How big is this 
this place. Bigger inside than it is outside. No. My guess is that this thing goes right in here. A whole cable. What is it? What does it look like? Looks like a giant TV screen, but nobody makes it this big. Yeah, except the loyal order of corn. Oh, no. Maybe they're working for the Japanese. Oh, no. Maybe they're working for Orville Redenbacher. Why so big? Why all the secrecy? Maybe it's some kind of spy screen. Hey, there's an idea. What are the coordinates for your sister's bedroom? I'll oh, be serious. All right, maybe it's for watching ESPN. That's funny. Mars, it's cold. Simon, don't touch it. It's all right, really. There's something else. Let's just change the channel and find out. Whoa! Be careful. Mars, help! Simon, it wasn't me! While penetrating the inner sanctum of the Loyal Order of Corn, my trusted associate Simon somehow got transmitted to the planet Mars. No thanks to my untrusted non-associate who insisted on being called Dash X. Simon. Oh, man. What is this? Some kind of intergalactic video zapping portal kind of thing? Yeah, but to where? To everywhere. What do you think you're doing? Do you realize how long I've been working on this project? Yeah! What do you think you're trying to pull? I'll go call the cops. Drop the act. He couldn't have gotten in here without your help. I ought to ship you both to Neptune. Uh, uh, no thanks. Lack of oxygen is bad for my asthma. Hey! What about me? He shouldn't have gone through. It isn't tuned in yet. This is unconscionable. Look, I know you're upset, but how do we get him back? Is anybody out there? All right. You might as well know. Marshall? Hang in there, Simon. I'll be right back. Well, I see someone has been doing some research. Yeah. Enough to know you've been running this lodge for 80 years, using those hats to make people build this, this portal. It's probably for some kind of alien invasion. You're some kind of advanced scout for a race that probably uses humans for cattle. Or worse yet, you're getting hysterical. Are you just about finished? Well, you're right about one thing. I'm not of this earth. No fooling? You're really an alien? Yes, but not an alien invader. More of an alien explorer. That's what Cortez said. So what? You're like an astronaut. Without a spacecraft. Space travel takes too long to get anywhere. So our people invented this tachyon portal. A door between worlds. Only our first test flight didn't work out the way we expected. And I was dropped in a place you call Siberia in 1908. And the minute I walked through the portal, it failed. Big deal. All you had to do was build another portal. I said I was an explorer, not a mechanic. And you don't buy tachyon portals from Sears. I needed to create a whole industry. First by forming the lodge itself, then by helping a little thing called radio. The loyal order of corn invented radio? Not exactly. We encouraged a couple of kids, Sarnoff, Armstrong, and DeForest, invested in the early networks and also funded research into television. Now, that was fun for a while. Of course, I realized things were getting out of hand when Milton Burl started wearing dresses. And now this. One boy lost on another world. The whole project threatened on the very night it was ready to work. But what's this old man have to do with this? Your father is building a universal tuner for that screen in there. My father? Our VCR has been flashing 12 o'clock ever since we bought it. Well, looks like your uh, pal Simon's gonna be in reruns for a while. Simon is doomed. Unless your father finishes his work? Yes, I'm afraid so. 
So all I had to do was make sure my dad finished that universal tuner gizmo before Simon froze to death on the surface of Pluto, or before my mom and dad murderized each other. First it was adjusting to this paternalistic town, where your opinion counts only if you're a man. Then it was the stupid lodge. <sighs> there you are. Young man, do you know what time it is? Uh, later than it should be? <laughs> Mr. Radford? Splendid timing, my boy. Your mother and I were just discussing the merits of the loyal order of corn. I'm holding you responsible for this. I gave him a ride. Gee, try to be a helpful neighbor and... Dad, is it finished? Mom! I, I have had it with your, your loyal order of hooey. Dad, tell her. Mr. Radford. Tell her what? Tell her what you're working on. I'm not sure, but I think it's a universal remote control. It can tune any TV, VCR, or CD player with just three buttons. Ha-ha! It works. It works! You, uh... You have a lot of answers. Your friend had a lot of questions. Yeah, well, I have some of my own. Where do I fit into all of this? You are my assistant, possibly even my replacement. So you're saying that you would have taken anybody who answered that help wanted sign? Not just anybody. No, no, no. Why me? I need to know. Big loyal order of corn project. Mom, it's for their secret big screen TV. Careful, boy! You're divulging the inner secrets of the loyal order to a woman. Fabulous. Secret tuner, secret TV. I think it's time somebody let me in on the secrets. What is it about you men in these stupid hats? Mrs. Teller! Heroin, my God, in front of the Colonel. Hail to thee, O oh ears of splendor. Seedling Teller. Come on, there's shucking to be done. <clears throat> Honey? Mom? The members were so much easier to handle when I came up with this. And the hats, of course. Oh, of course. Now, we're running out of time. The planets are in a once-in-a-century alignment tonight. If I go through that portal within the hour, I can get home. If not, I don't know if I can stand another century. Especially since Erie's getting wired for cable. Ned! Now what? Now, Ned, I know we have strict rules about allowing yes, yes, women but, into the lodge. What about the tuna? What about works. the tuna? It works. Oh, not a moment too soon. I think she looks great in a hat. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Simon? Anybody out there? It's getting hard to breathe, Marshall. What a that? great TV. It seems almost real. Yes, I suppose it does. If you like, see other worlds, other places. Of all the humans I've known, you'd appreciate it the most. Uh, no thanks. I have too much to do here. What about me? Aren't you gonna invite me too? I guess I'll just have to invite myself. What do you think you're doing? Look, all I got in my life are questions. Who I am, where I came from. The answers must be through that. You're wrong. My destiny lies through that portal, not yours. Even I don't know the meaning of the marks or why your hair is gray. These symbols go back to a time long before any of us and are as much a mystery to me as they are to you. I don't like the sound of that. Keep
Keep searching. What you seek is right here in Erie. The answer to your questions is simpler than you think and stranger than you imagine. Just tell me one thing. Are you my father? If only it were as simple as that. Pretty weird, huh, Mr. Radford? Well, still can't top the Shuckers Bolathon we had back in 1974. Now, that was weird. The next morning, Mom and Dad claim to have no memory of the events at the lodge, and Radford changes the subject whenever I bring it up. But that won't stop me, Simon, and our semi-friend Dash X from digging deeper. Because in Erie, Indiana, when you scrape away the surface weirdness, what you find is more weirdness.